Well, I'm more tempted to ask him about you and our new flatmate. Excuse me? I get it, mate. You're lonely. It's fine. Then you need a place to stay, short term, and then it's up. Of course. Anyway, she's far too young. Yeah. Who's too young? Um. Would be surgical registrar. Mm. They're all gagging to work with this guy. Um, because he's the real deal. <laughs> Don't know about that. And humble, too. You gonna get that? Yeah, I better. Sorry. Just get off me! What's going on? Suspected of right clavicle fracture from the fall. Get away from me! Okay, cubicle three, please. Okay. What else is going on? He's on pee. What? Says when? Okay, get some droperidol and alert security. Sure. Jack? <laughs> Hi, it's Harper. Hey, um, I'm gonna get you something for the pain, okay? No. Not her. She's trying to get rid of me. She got rid of Vinny. She got rid of Curtis. Just stop. No, no. Hey, I hey, wanted to get him. No way. Jack. No. You're rolling on this. All of you. Okay, look, I can't do anything until we get him down on the bed. No. What are you doing? No. Hey. Hey. You're supposed to be on my side. Why are you doing this? Why? What's this? Bedtime reminders from Danny. Apparently, we prefer fluffy blanket this week. Mm, it's nice of it. Was that a wistful tone? No. Because we are good. Back to how it's supposed to be. You, me, and Billy. Mm, the original three, so. <laughs> uh, three musketeers. Three stooges. Three tenors. Yeah. You're more of a baritone. Now, drink up, wife. Well, I battle the IRD. Yeah, what do they want? Uh, blah, blah, pay GST, blah, blah. Hold on. I'm down 450. Try a calculator? Ha, ha, not on the return. In the bank, 450 withdrawn. Is it something for the bar? Not on this account. Deposits only. Mm. Mummy's coming. Hmm. 450. Morning. Morning. How'd it go with the night out last night? Um, let's just say we missed you. <laughs> I missed you too. Coffee? I'm fine, thank you. Slept right through. Mm, glad someone did. Oh, this is gorgeous. Right. Well, look at that detailing. Is it hand sewn? Uh, it was supposed to be window shopping. Well, there's nothing wrong with splashing out every now and then. True. I figured I deserved a little treat. Good for you. And now I need my morning kisses. What? She gets a fancy new handbag right after I've lost hundreds of dollars? You're accusing her of being a thief now? How else did she pay Just for it? your voice down. The pin's the same as Billy's expenses card. Your personal and business accounts have the same pin. I'm not good with numbers. Or reading people, evidently. You really think she'd bring it here? Brazen. Just her style. You wanted to get rid of her, and now you're just looking for excuses. And yet again, you're trying to protect her. Just let it go. Or well, this is never going to work. I thought we were letting this go. They just have my back on this one. OK, but just gently, please, not all guns blazing. Give me some credit. Danny, great. Have a seat. Is Billy OK? Yeah. Love the outfit that you picked out. Super cute. I have an eye. Is something wrong? You tell me. Drew, sorry, it's it's a bit of a delicate situation. Did you steal money from me? Really? What? How did you pay for your new bag? I got it on lay-by. Uh-huh. Felt owed, did you, after we kicked you out? No. Like you deserved a treat? Harper? We had to ask. I can't believe this. Where did you get the money? Look, just fire me already. No, we don't want that. Well, he does. Drew? Answer the question. I did. But who's going to believe me? The dropkick nanny over the two rich doctors. Don't. OK. I thought we shared something special, but now you have freaked out and making up reasons to get rid of me? No. Liar. You're pathetic. Both of you. Are you happy now? Crocodile tears. Good riddance. Bad rubbish. You do not know that she took the money. She has been taking us for a ride all along. Oh, I didn't hear you complaining at the time. I thought we were done talking about that. I think you're getting your guilty hush money mixed up with your accounts. It wasn't hush money. 
Make up your mind, Drew. We both agreed that we didn't want to lose her. Yeah, before she started flashing her fancy handbag and her sticky fingers. It's not proof. Why are you always on her side? You're jealous. I don't want a thief in our house. We don't want competition. Is she? Competition? No, no. God, this is such a mess. We have to fight. No, we can't. Lawsuits aside, Billy loves her. Maybe there's a way through this. What? If we can look at her bank account. No, then... no, no, do not do anything else. I will sort this and get us back to normal. My turn to knock. Can I come in? So you can frisk me for valuables? Please. You okay? What do you think? I'm sorry, it's, it's a really horrible situation. Being accused of theft from people who you thought cared about you? Yeah, it is. We do care about you. It's just that Drew has genuinely had money go missing. And I genuinely didn't take it. Hey, I believe you. Can we get past this? Back to happy families, then. I'd like to hope so. How? After this. You really hurt me. I'm so sorry. No. I can't do this. One minute you're kicking me out, the next you're begging me to stay. I don't know where I stand with you. I just want to say sorry again for this whole mess. Drew just got it in his head. <laughs> Ruin things again. Not like always. Okay, Drew can be a bit of a dick sometimes, but be careful with the husband dissing. He's the one that you sleep with. I only did that to get closer to you. What? I love you, Harper.